Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing a travel vlog um, called Travel News 10 Exciting Facts Worldwide Part 1 2021. So just before we get into it, um, could you subscribe to my channel? I upload at least five exciting vlogs five days a week and um, it's Monday to Friday and um, mostly uh, they'll be at 6.30 at p.m. at night and also click the notification bell every time I upload a vlog you'll receive notification and a reminder so uh, let's jump right into it now. Uh, breakingtravelnews.com is uh, where I found 10 exciting uh, travel news facts worldwide. So I'm going to fire away uh, with number one, uh, which is the UNWTO prepares for Morocco's General Assembly. Tra uh, that's a travel event news and officials uh, from the United Nations World Tourism Organization and Morocco will wow, meet to prepare for the General Assembly and um, they went to set uh, to set to take place um, in October this year 2001 so uh, good luck to Morocco and the UNWTO um, I hope the event goes as well as it can in October this year now number two WTTC calls for focus on individual travellers to boost safety the world Travel and Tourism Council is calling for the governments to abandon the concept of high-risk countries and instead focus on how an individual high-risk travellers are treated at the borders. So yes, it is a good idea, um, really. Um, because if you're a traveller and you're at high risk of uh, being uh, really ill with COVID, um, then um, the need uh, you need to get treated um, either before you go on holiday or get um, tested and injected before you go to uh, travel at borders um, and the ones that are not then they need to be travel uh, treated at the borders before they go out the country um, e.g. have an in injection say at an airport etc before they go out the country um, number three, Transport Canada extends cruise ban to 2022. Transport Canada has extended a ban on cruise vessels in all Canadian waters until February um, the 28th, 2002. It's probably a game for, for the best. The order was announced by the Minister of Transport, Omar. Oh, or oh, oh, Amar Alagara, excuse my pronunciation. So, again, it's probably for, uh, again for the best. Um, but hopefully, next year the cruise sector in Canada will be able to get up and running, providing obviously, um, we're out of the pandemic. Um, number four, W Melbourne opens on the south coast of Australia, that's the latest hotel news, wow, um, it looks absolutely fantastic um, on breakingtravelnews.com and um, 
yes um it look all i can say it looks amazing and i hope it goes as well as possible for um australia and the hotel chain w melbourne number five is omen air confirms two new appointments um madina al bush as manager for Baran, while Najma Al Nima, who, excuse my pronunciation, <laughs> appointed sales manager in Sri Lanka. Wow, so good luck to both them two women and Oman Air for that. Um, and um, number six on the beach uh, reports week trading ahead of this summer's organization and operators um basically um you can book um if you wanted to with on the beach com but it has been reported because of the pandemic again um week trading um again um i hope it may put a pick up um nearer the time um again provi providing um most people have been vaccinated um in the uk and and whether or not it is safe uh to go abroad because a lot of people are holding back on uh, well, have to roll back anyway because all non-essential travel at the moment um, is banned. Um, but again, um, it's whether the government um, say that we're okay to have summer holidays um, in the summertime or go, uh, go on a holiday um later on uh this year or next year basically and um, when the give uh, government give it uh, gives the okay and um also other governments um around the world as well so um again um i hope um we can all have uh, people can have their summer holidays but um it just um is a matter of what the governments are saying um, again in each country um, number seven which um, finds lastminute.com has failed to pay it refund lastminute.com should go to the government to see if they uh, can get any funding and um, obviously uh, give the passengers uh, their refund funds back um, in full um, because then the cu uh, customers would then hopefully book again um, in the future um, obviously if they don't give the customers the refunds back then they're not going to book again with last at lastminute.com they're going to go elsewhere um at when they can travel again and number eight new leadership role for um at hitchens at london biggin hill airport so good luck to him in the job and um, his new job um, number nine international um, re brands as IHG hotels and re resorts and that's the latest hotel news and um, I hope the we branding goes as well as possible for IHD and last but not least the government 
securing hotel rooms ahead of the new quarantine arrangements so um again if people need to quarantine in hotels then and need the government support then obviously um the people need to allow to be allowed to quarantine in those um hotels so um thank you for watching and um, i'll see you tomorrow at 6 30 and um, it will be at three unknown destinations uh, worldwide um and thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye